Morning, my fishes. So pardon the harsh lighting. I've got my overhead lights on because I still have all the curtains closed. Eric is still sleeping. I am up. It is early. <laughs> Mermaid Kim and I are going exploring today. We are going to attempt to go out to a beach. So we've picked one that is further removed from all of the other humans and hopefully hopefully we can maintain a good social distance. We said to ourselves, if we get there and the parking lot's full, we're just gonna bounce. Um, I've got my tail packed. I've got uh, my new scuba stuff, um, like my wetsuit stuff that I, that I purchased off Amazon. I'm gonna try that out today. Um, didn't get anything fancy. I just wanted to get something that I could wear under my tail and over top of my of my uh, swim top. So I'll report back and let you guys know how that goes. And I packed a lunch and all that stuff. So she'll be here in kind of half an hour. And I've just been answering emails and all that good stuff. That's the plan. And hopefully, hopefully it goes well. And uh, obviously you guys have seen the view. It's a little bit uh, insane. And we've only been here probably 10 minutes. We've got crows and we've got geese and we have a seal. I think it's a harbor seal just chilling out there. Just, I, I wanna get in the water right now. Can we do this? Can we do this? Kim just ran to the washroom. So in the meantime, I was putting on sunblock and getting all set up. So this should be fun.
Overhead lighting is like the least flattering thing in the whole of the universe. Let's get some daylight, shall we? That's better. Let's face the daylight. It's beautiful out. Oh, look at that for lighting. Look at that for lighting. Who needs overhead lighting when you've got this blue sky? It's so beautiful. Okay, my fishes. So I'm back to where we started this morning at like eight in the morning. <laughs> we had a wonderful time and I'm not going to lie when I tell you that the Water was really cold, <laughs> in case that wasn't obvious in the footage that you saw. It was really, really, really cold. And as for the, the uh, wetsuit stuff that I got, the shorts were an absolute win. I'm gonna actually link those for you guys down below. That is how much I love them. So check them out if you're looking for something to give you a little bit extra insulation. I think it works best in a fabric tail. I obviously haven't got a silicone tail to show you, so there you go. But they're great shorts. I'm. Mm, I'll do an I'll do a follow-up video telling you guys my new uh, system. The top could have been a size smaller. I knew that when I got it, but I am very claustrophobic in clothing, so I have to be very careful what I get and what I'm wearing and the whole thing. So I'm either gonna do like a rash guard underneath or I'm just gonna get a smaller size and then let somebody else adopt the other one. Maybe Eric wants it. So it was an amazing, amazing adventure though, you guys. If you're able to get out there in the nature, we were very careful and the beach, like I'm not sure how much of the beach you guys saw but it may have looked a bit busier than it actually was Everybody was between I'd say like eight and ten feet in some cases more away from us So it was really good. The bathrooms were kept really really clean um, The sidewalks were all well marked. There were signs everywhere. So Kim and I did our best to just Avoid the masses and as soon as it got a little bit too busy for us We we bounced if you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well So you never miss an upload and I want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this adventure and a huge Thank you to mermaid Kim for making this whole day possible. Oh my goodness Absolutely epic absolutely epic and I am so thrilled and now I'm gonna edit some footage very excited. So thank you guys again for watching and I look forward to catching you all again in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye.